Welcome back, everyone. It's Kevin once again with some cards to rip. Uh, I have some time to kill before game six of the NLCS when the Dodgers beat the Mets in a score of seven to two before taking on the Yankees in the World Series in which they will win probably a four game sweep. So with that out of the way, I decided let's rip some cards throughout the years, add some stuff, just one offs that were taking up too much space in the in the collection, unless there's some <laughs> I didn't account for. That's a Ken Griffey auto. Or all three, that'd be sweet. Ken Griffey Jr., Ken Griffey Sr., and Jim Abbott. Those are the only players that appear on these cards for some reason. I don't understand it. I mean, all right, so that's kind of cool. If you're a, a Warner Brothers fan, I can see just having a couple of those. But see, that's part of a puzzle. And each title up here represents a different puzzle so just in this pack there's one five so there, there's way too many puzzles and way too many cards in this set but because of that you can get them pretty cheap right now what was this guy's name again sam something right i don't recall daffy duck stepping up to bat for the mariners the one the only daffy duck pretty neat i guess if you're a Mariners fan. And then Jim again with Bugs and The Martian. So yeah, a lot of puzzles, a lot of cards in that set. And it's really not that fun of a rip. So keep that in mind if you ever see those on eBay for cheap. How about some Series 1? Cano. Billy Castro. Patrick Bailey. Rafaela India. Bryson Scott. Grayson Rodriguez. Set him off to the side. Josh Naylor, heck of a game last night. Or actually, no, it was for the Naylors. It was two nights ago. Either way, I would have liked to see them in the World Series. They missed. Punk. Byron Buxton. Interesting story about Byron Buxton. The one and only home run challenge I did this year. I thought, all right, you know what? The day he comes back, it was, well, like about a month ago. I said, I'm going to fill it out for that. I missed the cutoff by an hour so I thought, ah, screw it. Second game back, and we went ahead and, and clicked on the, uh, what's it like, you get a bonus if he hits 425. So I did that with the 425 kicker. And, of course, I missed that. That one hour made a huge difference because he did, in fact, hit a home run. I doubt it was 425, and I probably still would have put 425 anyway. But either way, now I have a scratched-off Byron Buxton card to go along with my new Byron Buxton card. So not bad. So collecting's all about, right? Davis Carter, Michael Harris II, Freddie Peralta, Biggio, Dylan Cease, another excellent postseason. Too bad he didn't play for a different team, Estuary Ruiz. So you know what? Not bad all. For Emmanuel Kloss, another outstanding postseason. I think we're going to see a lot of these Volpe. We're going to see a lot of these guys in years to come. What do we have here? I don't think I've seen that before. Gold Acuna, Arias, and Freeman. Oh, and it's numbered to 2024. Pretty neat. And again, I just <laughs> realized it. Probably all nine of you watching have probably already switched off because the cards were up here the whole time, right? Josh Young. Corbin Carroll, Mookie, I thought that was a chrome for a second, either way, Mookie gets PC'd, not that I go out and buy him, but I hold on to his cards, Bryce Harper, Mike Massey, Savale, Horwitz, Judge, hopefully we'll be talking about him losing the World Series soon, it's a nice card though, whoops. If I remember correctly, right, it's got to be Chrome for the buyback. All right, about some 89 mini cards. I used to get these. I would go to a baseball camp. And like the last day of baseball camp, we would have scrimmages and whatnot. And then the coaches would sit everybody down, all the kids from all the different teams, and have like trivia. And these would be the, the cards that you would win. Kirk Gibson, nice. He gets stood up. Ah, so there's a problem. I changed the camera angle before. You know what? Let's see if we can fix that real quick. Mm, 
No, let's zoom out as much as we can. All right, moving on. Dale Murphy. Should be Hall of Famer Dale Murphy. Was it De Leon? Spring Fever Baseball. I always liked the inserts. Not as a kid, but now going through them when you pop into those inserts. Oh, Wade Boggs. Probably has a piece of chicken in his pocket right there. Kevin McReynolds. And why do we have to close out with a name that I don't remember and can't easily pronounce? Gabixa? Gabixa? That's weird, because usually Junk Wax Heroes, you recognize them. I haven't seen a lot of these names over and over throughout the years. We're moving on to the Donruss. Clearly not enough to build a puzzle. Not going to stop us, though. It's a good piece to have. Sam Horn, Tim Stoddard, Bill Madlock, Mark Knudsen, Griffin, Rike, Barry Larkin, Cal Daniels, Tim Hankey, Gladden, Phelps, Rill. Oh, I thought it was Ryan. It looked really quick. You probably thought so too. Let me know. How many of you thought that said Ryan? Bill Allman and Rick Manning. Potential. Ted Williams Auto. Remember, I pulled the card. It was it's 36 of 36 of the Ted Williams set. I pulled it last time. Maybe not the last video, but the last time I opened. And it wasn't the signed one. I was so, so hurt about that. Ron Karkovice. And again, we get to look at these old cards and remind ourselves that the new pictures are just not as good. Brewer's Checklist. I've seen that one a bunch of times. Oil Can Boyd. Do not remember him on any team other than the, the Red Sox. That's weird. Still, one of the coolest nicknames in baseball. Oh, that's going to bother me. I hope it bothers you too. It'll help me fix it. Cal Daniels again. Lonnie Smith. Brian Downing. Robin Yount. Yount. Ozzy. The Wiz. Diamond Skills. Eh. I tried to adjust the... Uh, to focus a little bit to get my hand that's probably the best right there yeah it's a little bit better still not gonna be able to read it until i zoom in but go ahead and screenshot that real quick so we'll put him up there andres galarraga another guy that for the life of me i have no idea why but i collected him as a kid probably the name i didn't grow up around a lot of people with difficult to pronounce names so that was exciting to me. It was something different. Kevin Mitchell. Better in a Mets uniform. Bip Roberts. Don't know anybody who doesn't have a handful of Bip Roberts cards from the 80s and 90s. Greg Swindell. Hmm. Oh, it is just a checklist. Bonds and Van Slyke. I thought this was some kind of... I mean, it is a cool card. But... Not as rare... Wait, do what? I think sometimes we give Upper Deck a big pass. <laughs> okay. The cardstock felt great. The pictures were always dope. QC, not great. For one, you just saw every other card was like flipped the other direction. Now, this is not even close to the first time I've gotten doubles in the same pack. I have like six wax boxes of Upper Deck left. And every time I open packs, <laughs> there's a double. Watch, we're going to see it again in this one. We got our Diamond King, Jim Abbott. Nice. Dave Justice. The Barons. Bob Wickman. Nichols. Robin Ventura. They're just cool action picks. I know I say it every time. Flanagan. Monty Ferris. Rico Bronia. Dan Gladden. I think we saw him. Oh. <laughs> So, this time we didn't have to wait. And again, sorry that they're off the screen. I just suck at making videos, but... Two Dan Gladdens back-to-back. -back. There weren't even cards in between. Eric Davis. It's a great picture. Kevin McReynolds. Matty Stairs. Ken Hill. And Stankowitz. So, through it all, though, I mean, I love Upper Deck. Hands down. No, I wish they would get a, another license. Robinson. Rosenberg. Dennis Martinez. Don August. 
Carmen Castillo. Uh oh, we have a hologram coming up. Gary Pettis. Louis Polonia. All right, now if this is a Dodger hologram, I mean, they're already going to win the World Series anyway, but this is just going to solidify it. Oh, oh we got two. Oh. <laughs> two teams that have brought me a lot of heartache through my life. That's not a great sign. The Cardinals pretty much all through the 2000s up until when, like a week and a half ago, owned the Dodgers in the postseason. And the Giants, well, I don't hate them as much as I hate the Padres these days, but still, they're more of a, a fun rivalry now. Langston? Wilson? Mike Felder. And you see another fun thing. So less action shots, but still just good photography, thoughtful photography. I feel like I recognize the face. I would not have guessed that was Ozzy Gian. Looks way too young, but then again, and maybe it's the different hat. Bob Boone. There you go. All right. So we got three left. We'll go with stickers. Remember last time we did a sticker pack, all four of them, whether it was the front side or the back side, was though. Okay, so we got Sanchez and Hader. All right, you know, the backs aren't bad so far, but let's see what the fronts are. Last time it was all backs that were bomb. Brandon Woodruff, Austin Nola, neat card. Sinshu Chu, and Talon. So we'll keep that there. Chrome Platt. Deion Sanders. Trey Mancini. Tony La Russa. And Tatis. It's a nice card. He's just a punk. All right, power deck. There's only one in here. And then uh, we'll pop it in the, the disk drive. See what that's all about. Win one of the following objects. Reggie Jackson, 67 rookie jersey. Juan Marichal, 71 jersey. Babe Ruth, Game Use, Red Sox bat. Don Drysdale, 68 Dodger jersey. Ty Cobb, 28 A's jersey. Kiwi Reese, 58 Dodgers. Joe DiMaggio, 30s, Game Used glove. Are you kidding me? Lou Gehrig, 27 row jersey. Mickey Mantle, Game Used bat. Babe Ruth, final appearance bat. Like, what do you think a final appearance bat for Babe Ruth would be fetching right now? I mean, even in 92 or whenever these... Uh, yeah, I think it was 92, right? No, it couldn't have been. DVDs weren't out yet. So this would have been like later, maybe 96-ish. Oh, 2000. Dumb late. Okay. So still. And I'm curious too. Where did these things end up? I haven't heard any. You would think this would be the kind of thing that'd be floating all over YouTube and different lore so i'm gonna set that aside we'll figure that out later maybe we'll make a video about where all those things are so who do we have pedro okay let's just make sure there's no uh warnings or anything oh so you can read it too i'm just gonna scan it real quick make sure there's nothing that says like don't put this in a lenovo for some reason mm, minimum system requirements 133 megahertz with 12 megs of ram uh-oh. It's like, I have 64 gigs of RAM, so that shouldn't be a problem. <laughs> and 12-core processor, I think it is now. I just swapped it the other day. It's old, but still. Sound Blaster compatible card. And a 4X or faster CD-ROM. Can't remember what mine is. It's higher than 4. That was just fun to look through. The problem that I might run into, and I'm concerned about this, my disk drive is vertical, and this is going to be tough to get to sit in there but let's check it out anyway okay so as expected on the uh the vertical drive it just fell right to the bottom it didn't sit in the tray it was a stupid design but luckily i have an auxiliary drive sitting by so all right got it working so let's take a look and see uh what this is all about
So that was that. Kind of cool. How do we get rid of this? Hold on. Boom, problem solved. There's going to be a lot of editing taking place here. So these things are pretty cool. You get a minute's worth of video. There was also a picture, but it was in a weird format that wouldn't open up. I could tell you what it is right now. Said I don't have the... Well, right off the bat, I didn't have the specified codex. If you do run... Or if you do run into some of these and you get them, you're going to need VLC media player. I don't know if maybe Mac would still come with the uh, the right codex. I doubt it. The other thing on here that I can't open, it's called a DCR. So raw image extension is required to display this file. You know, let's just see if we save it and change the name. Oh, it won't even let me. Okay. I was thinking maybe I'll just change the the file extension to something else and try to trick it. But such is not the case. At any rate, we had a fun time opening some cards today. Killed a little bit of time before the baseball game. Still not much. So I'll have to do something else right now. Getting too dark to wash the truck. So I'll probably just sit around doing nothing at all. I appreciate you watching. If you're still watching right now, let me know that you did. And uh, I'll send you a virtual high five.